Betty Marion White was born January 17, 1922 in Oak Park, Illinois. During the Depression, her parents moved with their only child to Los Angeles, where she attended Hollywood High School and later got her start on local TV. Her break came in 1949 with Hollywood on Television, a variety show that ran five hours a day, six days a week. That success led to a sitcom. Betty White in Life with Elizabeth. And her own variety program, The Betty White Show. I'm a little lamb who's lost in the world. After that, she took a job that would change everything. As a celebrity contestant on the game show Password, she met the man she called the love of her life, third husband, host Alan Ludden. And I'll give the first password tonight to Betty White. Then in 1973, Betty landed the first of two landmark roles. I'm sorry, Billy, but I cannot do a chocolate souffle with only two cameras. <laughs> Sue Ann Nivens, the happy homemaker who was anything but on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. Go ahead, Lou, you're stronger than I am. Pressure advantage. <laughs> it was supposed to be a guest appearance, but it became a full-time job and earned her two Emmy Awards. In 1980, husband Alan was diagnosed with stomach cancer. He died the following year. Betty never remarried and never had children. She continued taking guest starring roles in game shows until she once again found a perfect part. Yeah, I got a call from uh, Lois Nyland. Oh, that's Rose Nyland. Rose, as in a series of seats in a movie theater. On Golden Girls, Betty's character was the opposite of Sue Ann, the kind-hearted scatterbrain Rose, known for sharing stories from her small town upbringing. Lost the little Miss St. Olaf pageant, did you? <laughs> 23 years in a row. <laughs> Along with acting, Betty was passionate about animal welfare. She spent more than four decades working with the Morris Animal Foundation and the Los Angeles Zoo and won a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Jane Goodall Institute. My life is divided absolutely in half, half show business and half animal business, and uh, I'll do anything I can to make life better for these guys. Our guest of honor, Miss Betty White. In recent years, Betty's career enjoyed a renaissance. First, she appeared in a hard-hitting Super Bowl commercial. Ah, I'm playing like Betty White out there. That's what your girlfriend said. Then an internet campaign helped her land a hosting gig on Saturday Night Live. It became SNL's highest rated show in nearly two years. And now I'm here tonight because you wanted me to be. <laughs> Then, when her new show, Hot in Cleveland, premiered, the pilot set a ratings record for the TV Land Network. I've been the caretaker of this house for 50 years, but you can kick me out. In all, Betty earned more than half a dozen Emmys, three American Comedy Awards, a Grammy, and three Screen Actors Guild Awards, including a Lifetime Achievement. This is the highest point of my entire professional life. With her quick wit, impeccable timing, and generous personality, Betty White leaves behind a lasting legacy of love and laughter.